We're often, a lot of times in statistics, asked to look at a data set and see if the data is approximately normal. If it's approximately normal, we can use mean and standard deviation to glean a lot of information about this data set. But sometimes, data is just not normal. It might be something else. So one of the most obvious ways to do that is to create a histogram or a stem plot. Again, using a calculator or a computer to generate this and looking for that shape that we know as being normal, where it's higher in the middle and lower in the ends. However, sometimes you have a small data set where even if you look at the graph, you're not exactly sure the data is normal or not because you have such limited data. So another graph that helps us determine if data is normal or not is something called a normal probability plot. And almost all calculators and um, computers will generate that for us. And basically, we want to we want to look at the normal probability plot and see if the data lies in a line. If it is, then it's normal. If it's not, then it's probably not normal. So we would enter our data into a list or a spreadsheet of some kind. We use the calculator or the computer to generate this normal probability plot and check to see if it's linear. So here's an example of some data that collected. Um, involving tire pressures and we have uh, a bunch of different tires with the different tire uh, tire pressures and we're trying to see if the data is approximately normal or not so I entered this data in and we're going to take a look at all three graphs a dot plot, a histogram and then if necessary a normal probability plot and try to see if we think this data is approximately normal or not okay so here's a graph of that data this is a dot plot and I'm trying to look at that data and determine if it's approximately normal. And at first glance, it certainly looks higher in the middle and lower on the two ends. And if I were sort of graph the top of it, I would get something that was relatively close to normal. But I would be a little bit suspicious of this because there seems to be two different clusters of data over here and over here. And there's a big gap in there that's kind of raised my suspicions here. I'm not sure exactly what that is. If I were to gather more data and that data kind of filled in the space, I would probably go with no pro approximately normal, no problem. But without, with this limited data, I would say, well, maybe there's something else going on here. So I need to take a look at some more graphs. So here's a histogram of that same data. But in reality, I don't see much different here. Yes, it's higher in the middle and lower on the ends, just like I saw on the dot plot. And I can sort of connect with something that's approximately normal. But again, because there's this cluster of sample data here between 22 and 24, and another cluster of sample data between 28 and 32, my suspicions are aroused. I'm thinking, maybe this is not normal. Maybe this is something else. So if you, as you can see here, the histogram and the dot plot doesn't really help me confirm or deny whether the data is normal or not. So I need to look at another type of graph to help me determine and make a valid conclusion. This is a normal probability plot. This is data uh, graph that is generated by the Inspire or just about any computer or calculator will do this. And basically what it does is it uh, graphs the data and it, we're looking for the data to lie along this line here. If it lies along this line without much variation, then we can say that the data is approximately normal. But as you look here, this data doesn't really lie along the line. It goes above the curve, then it goes below the curve, then it goes a little bit above again. So this is actually more of a curve than it is a line. So that means the data is not normal. It is something else. It actually turns out that this data is bimodal. It actually has two centers over there on the stem plot in the low 20s and then in the mid 20s. There was two different centers. We're not going to look at that kind of data in, the, in this course. We are going to look at data that is normal, but this is a way to look, determine whether data, especially a small data set, is normal or not, is something called a normal probability plot. So you need to add this to your compositional book mm -hmm. and put in there that a normal probability plot helps me determine whether data is normal or not by determining if the, lot, the data falls along a line or not. If it falls along a line, it is considered normal. If it doesn't, it is not considered normal.